Stop the cap. My house is, I, some of them I've never even seen. And this is a true story. You haven't seen some of the houses you own? Never. And I buy them because I buy tax auctions. I buy tax liens. So I don't buy normal MLS or anything that you're going to see on Zillow. There's nothing on the computer that I'm going to be buying. I buy them below the appraised value, way below. And everybody would if they could, but they can't because they don't know my tactic. My tactic is to hire an attorney. And my attorney goes to the courthouse and he finds out for that day what tax liens in the whole county or anywhere I want to buy a home is, and he'll give them to me. And he says, you owe me my $5,000 retainer whether you buy a house or not. I don't care what you do with this information. I woke up and got my coffee and went here and got it for you. Now you do it. Mm -hmm. And I go on there and I go, oh my God, look at these houses. I don't need to see them. I don't need to drive by them. Don't need to even care. And I own so many houses that I've never seen because all I need to see is what is the appraised value of that house? And what am I buying it for? Huh. Holy shit, I'm buying it for half of the appraised value. I just made money. You do real estate, you understand that. It's when you buy a house that's worth a million and you pay 500,000 for it. That's what I do. Huh. I, I make money on my houses before I even fix them up, before I even, when I buy them. And do you rent all these houses out? Never rented a house. Never you rent never rented them. a house. They sit there, so all these houses are collect empty. cobwebs. Some of them are falling apart. Some of them have grass 10 feet high. Some of them are just vacant land. Some of them have houses that swimming pool and cockroaches are coming out and they've been there for 25 years and I won't touch them and they are worth a shitload of money compared to what I paid for them 25 huh. years ago. That's the thing. House in a neighborhood that is predominantly black. I bought my house seven years ago for $47.50 per square foot, which is pretty close to half of what it would cost to build a home the same size. So why was it so cheap? There was one land prospector that bought up properties. He bought up thousands of properties. He left these buildings abandoned and intentionally let them get run down so that the whole neighborhood looks terrible. That land prospector drove the housing prices into the ground because if he can own a large enough area, he can get the city to eminent domain it and pay him for those properties. That one land prospector owned most of the properties in this area and the city eminent domained it. They paid him for those properties and they tore down all of the houses, forced everybody else out. And I always hear people say, well, why can't black people take care of their neighborhoods? But what they don't know is that most of those properties all belong to the same white guy.